Hey, what is up YouTube? Thrift School over here coming at you with a video on how I source media items. So right now you guys are looking at a bunch of CDs in my local thrift store. I'm going to bring you around the side over here. We have a bunch of DVDs. We have a whole bunch of video games sitting right here. And then behind me on this back wall, we also have more CDs, DVDs, box sets, and a whole bunch of Blu-rays. But today we are mostly going to focus on CDs. I'm going to bring you around, take a look at the VHS tapes also. This could be for another video on how I pick all that out, but let's focus on the CDs right now. So right over here, we have a stack of brand new CDs. And guys, this is what I like to pick out. Out of all those CDs that you saw, I only picked out the new ones out of every single CD back here. All I did was grab the new ones because you want to scan these first with your Amazon seller app and that's exactly what I'm going to show you. It's exactly how I'm going to do this. This is a very small selection, very small selection, but the odds of finding valuable CDs in here is much higher than if you went through and scanned every single one. Alright, so I'm pulling out the Amazon Seller app on my phone, I'm hitting the little camera icon, and you'll notice down below there is a little prompt that asks if you want continuous scanning. You want to check that off so it shows blue over on the right hand side, and now you could scan, I believe, up to 10 CDs at once. Uh, it's really awesome and super helpful. All right, so right now I'm scanning the barcode by just placing the camera right over the CDs and it's as easy as this, guys. I just bang out all the brand new ones first. You could scan, like I said, at least 10 of them. Um, I'm not sure if you can do more or less. If the app allows it, it might start deleting the ones that you previously scanned. So I like to max out at around 10, but we're only going to do a few right here so I could show you guys exactly what it's like to scan them. Now, if I had both hands, obviously I could be scanning a lot faster than I am right now, but I am holding a camera here. So now that we have everything scanned, we want to click done up in the left hand corner and we're going to see everything come loading in and you'll be able to see prices. Uh, as long as well as the sales rank so this is super helpful you can see a sales rank of 23,000 right there 5,000 so these are really good fast selling items with pretty decent prices now if I were to scan the used ones odds are I'm not gonna see these uh, good of prices um, so we're gonna take a look at the ones that are actually selling right now go back through them and find them by their title so the one that's the first one that's selling very well is this The Doors CD. And you could see right here on the phone that it's selling for over $19 brand new. So right here you could definitely see what I'm going to get in my gross proceeds. You're going to see that I am eligible to sell it and you're going to see the rank. So a rank of 112,000 is not too bad in audio CD. Right there, you could see I could sell it in new, used, collectible, refurbished, however I want to sell this CD, I can sell it. Now, some people are going to be restricted. I understand that. I personally am not restricted in pretty much any CD. Um, now, we could take a look further in and uh, really break down our costs. So, shipping to Amazon, when you're shipping in Amazon FBA, um, you're going to put a bunch of stuff into a box. And you breaks down the price per piece to about 50 cents, sometimes less. My cost of purchase is $4, so I'm going to make $7.55. Now, these are just the CDs out of that entire new stack that are worth it for me. So you can see we have, what, one, two, three, four, five of them there. And these are all the used ones that I haven't scanned but you know what I'm gonna do guys I'm going to go through every single used CD and scan them all up alright guys so this is the aftermath this is everything that I scanned I scanned every single used CD that you see here every single one and I'm left with those one two three four five six seven eight I am left with eight CDs that were profitable and guys, that is why I recommend going after the new ones first. You always want to go after the new CDs first because, I mean, take a look at how many I had to scan beforehand. It's pretty insane. And just a quick reminder, guys, I did go through every single one, even all of these that you see right here. And that is why I recommend only scanning the new ones first, especially if you're brand new. Um, 
just go through the new ones. Make sure you have continuous scanning checked on your uh, phone on your device whatever you're using to look these items up it will be super super helpful guys and you know another tip i can give you guys is to take a look at those little cardboard cd cases like that doors cd i showed you those always seem to go for a good amount of money not sure why maybe because they're promos something like that but that's just kind of what I recommend. Go through those cardboard ones. Go through all the new ones. Do whatever you can to make sure you're optimizing your time. Now, you can buy a Bluetooth scanner to go through this a little bit faster. But if you're new, even if you're more experienced, guys, just do what you can. Don't be scanning a bunch of the very popular artists out there like Justin Timberlake or the Black Eyed Peas or whoever, right? Because I see those kind of CDs a lot in my thrift stores and they never seem to be worth much. Look for the obscure stuff, look for the new stuff, and guys, you will come away with a very nice profit. All right, guys, so I wanted to bring you in to my actual Amazon seller dashboard and show you guys exactly how much money I made. This is in 2017 and this is just in the music category. So we're just talking CDs. Uh, I do sell a little bit of records, uh, but that's all when it comes to music. So pretty much CDs. So 368 of them for $6,248.95. I sell them for an average of just under $17. And you could see, I mean, this these are the actual numbers. This is what I'm selling in CDs. This is last year. Um, up here, it's showing the date to 2018, but this is actually to 2017. So if I just type in 12, 31, 2017, uh, you could see it's saved like that. Um, but I will apply so you can see what I've sold this year as well in CDs. And just so you guys can see that I, I wasn't fooling with you, we'll apply it again. And there you go, the exact same product sales, even though it says 2017. So $6,248.95, so over $6,000 in sales. Now, profit on just CDs is probably going to be more than half of that. Um, you guys saw with that Doors CD that was, you know, I spent $4, I'm going to make 7 So that's a pretty darn good profit um, on that CD. But most cds that i pick up at thrift stores at garage sales at anywhere right i'm gonna be spending about a dollar to three dollars that was a four dollar one that is very rare for me to find most thrift stores do not charge that much for cds but mine have been going up lately so my profit is definitely more than half of this i would say closer to you know four thousand dollars which is pretty amazing pretty awesome when it comes to CDs and they're very very cheap to ship in and very easy to fit into a big box you could put you know 200 of them in a box and ship them off to Amazon well they do have a weight restriction but let's take a look at this year and we could actually just change it to year to date apply and there we go guys so it is only July and we are at two thousand three hundred and eleven dollars so definitely over a thousand dollars in profit on cds um you know you can see last year i was definitely selling more than this year and there is a huge reason for that and you could see this downtrend right here and see how it's starting to curve back up well there is you know a reason like i said and that's mostly because i haven't been shipping off as many cds lately uh last year i was going a much much harder on amazon than I am right now. I'm actually dipping my toes into a bunch of different things. I'm also focusing on eBay right now. So the it's down, but you can see right here this uptrend. I've been sending in more lately, which is definitely, you know, better. You could see this the uptrend right here. So I believe that's going to continue to go up and will go up above these down months that I had last year. And I will end up making about the same, if not more, when it comes to CDs. Uh, you could see, obviously, November, December, January is where they sell the best. Except last year we had a little bit of an uptick in July. But, you know, around Christmas time is when they're selling. Now, some people will say CDs are dead, they're dying. Maybe that's why you're not selling as many. But it's mostly because I haven't been sending as many in. You know, I've only sold 114 of them. I don't know the exact amount that I've sent in. But I can guarantee it is less than last year. Not for long, though, guys. I'm going to be going much, much harder. And I plan, 
you know, I think I had $6,248 last year. This year, I want to make at least 8,000. So I think I'm going to do 8,000 in just CDs, guys. This is only one category of so many more categories that I sell in. I sell, the majority of my sales are in video games, toys. Uh, I sell a lot of kitchenware, and those will be for another video that we could break down. But at this moment, I just wanted to show you guys music, CDs, and how much money you could potentially make. And I showed you guys how easy that was. All I did was scan a few on my phone. It took me a total of maybe 20 to 25 minutes, I'd say, to go through all of them. Really doesn't take that long. Imagine if you had a Bluetooth scanner, how much faster it would be. Now, I want to mention that buying used CDs is a little bit more of a hassle. I don't worry about if they're scratched because I have a disc cleaner. I have a JFJ Easy Pro. It cleans them in insane amount, guys. I have a link down below in my description for you to check out. I use this on DVDs, CDs, video games, on pretty much everything. I love this disc cleaner. And uh, I should have a picture up on the screen to show you guys exactly what it is. They are a little expensive, but think about how much money you could potentially make. If I wasn't selling a bunch of my scratched items that I end up fixing with that JFJ Easy Pro, I probably missed out on at least $5,000. And I've only had it for about a year or two, and I would have missed out on over $5,000 worth of profit. And this thing's only a little over what hundred dollars I think so highly recommend it guys if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions subscribe if you haven't already this is thrift school signing out see ya